I get really badly itchy eyes, obviously, and then like congested. A little bit of a tickly nose and I get a bit of sneezing. Usually it's just a bit of a, a runny nose, blocked up nose, and sometimes the eyes are a little bit watery. I get it bad, but not even just summer, all the time. Winter all the way through. And how is this summer compared so far? Has it been better or worse? The people that I've been talking to about it as well, like they've said that it's been a lot worse this year. I don't know what it is. It's manageable. It's just definitely more obvious this year than it has been. For me, it's been better. Okay. Uh, for my wife, it's been worse. Allergy expert Dr. Helen Bruff is on hand to explain why hay fever is really affecting so many of us this year. Well, one in four people actually suffer from hay fever. Some people will have a genetic predisposition, but it's also about your environment. So you live in an environment that has lots of pollen, um, particularly if you're born in the winter or the springtime, you're more likely to have hay fever because the first six months of your life, you're exposed to more pollens. That's so interesting. And is it something that you can get at any point in your life or if you haven't got it up to a certain age are you safe? Mm, unfortunately not so usually it develops around five to six years of age and then it peaks unfortunately during exam period in the late teenage years which is really unfair. There are some parts of the UK where hay fever is going to be a lot worse. So if you live in the countryside there is more pollen because there are more plants but if you live in a city, although there's going to be less pollen because it interacts with uh, pollution, particularly diesel exhaust fumes, that breaks down the pollen. So why is it particularly bad this year? So this year we've had uh, the perfect storm of very high pollen counts and thunderstorms. What happens when there's a storm is that the pollen gets whipped up by the wind and then it gets taken up into an area where it's wet and the pollen then explodes into tiny little pieces which then comes back down and those tiny pieces can get not just into the nose but into the lungs. The UK started the world's first pollen count forecast in 1983 and it's become an essential service for the estimated 10 million hay fever sufferers in the UK today. BBC Weather gives you a pollen count rating for the same reason it gives you the weather. Basically, our job is to try and help you to plan your day and our audiences have shown that that piece of information included in the forecast is really valuable to them. Spring is now starting earlier across the UK in some areas, while the suffering season for many has been elongated. Trees are coming into bloom in January and we've still got weed pollen around quite late into autumn, so it's definitely a longer season that everyone's up against now. Do you have any top tips, anything you do at home to try and make it better? Yeah, I just try and wash my like pillowcases more. I think the mask that we wear uh, for COVID has actually helped a little bit. Vicks up your nostrils, it stops the pollen going up, it just stops it all there around your nostrils, really? it doesn't let it go up. My top tip would be to always wash your hair and change your clothes when you get home and have a shower before you go to bed because otherwise all the pollen that's on your hair will go onto your pillow and then you'll rub your eyes in the pillow and that's really not very good.